God's Word is powerful. Welcome, friends, to a few minutes in the Word of God with me today. I want to share with you some opening verses of Genesis chapter 1, where it reads, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. When God speaks, things happen. Genesis chapter 1 and 2 are examples of that. God says something, and what he says comes into existence. And everything we see that he makes here in these opening chapters is good. In fact, at the end of chapter 1, he sums it all up. He looks at everything he has made, and behold, it is very good. When God speaks, things take place just in the way that they should. Which should be a reminder to us that the Word of God is something that we want to be daily taking into ourselves, reading, listening to, pondering, meditating on. Why? Because it is powerful. And it's powerful not just to do things out there in the universe and in the world around us, but it's powerful to do things within us. Faith comes through hearing and hearing the words of Christ, the scripture tells us, that God through his word is, is able to bring people into a living relationship of faith with himself, with Jesus, his son, with the Holy Spirit. We come to know God through his holy word. And even as we continue to read the word and listen to it and ponder it and meditate on it, God continues to do his work through his word in you and me, leading us to repentance, filling us with faith and hope. The word of, the, of God, the scripture tells us, is such that he can, he can speak things into existence, things that were not there come into being. That's what we see there in Genesis chapter 1. And so today, we give thanks for the word of God and its power. And it makes us think of Jesus, the Son of God, who actually is inseparable from the Word. What does John tell us in the opening chapter of his Gospel? He says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus is the Word of God. And we know what Jesus has done for us to bring us into relationship with him. He has come into this world, he suffered and died, he rose again from the dead, so that everyone who believes in him would not perish, but have eternal life. Trust in the Lord today. Know that he loves you. Know that when he says to you, I love you, you can believe it. It's trustworthy. Everything he says comes into being. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your powerful word. We thank you for how you spoke and everything came into existence. And we thank you, Lord, that your word continues to do its mighty work to this very day. Let your word have its way in our lives, in our hearts and minds. Lead us, Lord, and help us daily to be in your word, listening and hearing and pondering and meditating upon it. We thank you for Jesus, the Son of God, the word made flesh, for his death and resurrection for us. We pray these things in his name. Amen. God bless you, friends.